I spend a lot of my time based in the city, um, but I have lots of childhood memories of spending time in the woodlands. And as an inner city child, it was wonderful to come out here and see no lights, um, see stars um, and animals. And I started to work in adventure playgrounds and love the kind of environments and the opportunities that they provided for children. And over the years, I've just watched environments be squeezed and squeezed and squeezed and the impact that that's had on inner city children who have no space to consider an alternative identity. Um, so I began my doctorate five years ago and the doctorate was about alternative spaces for transforming learning and identity. And I started to think about the concept of learning landscapes. And what we've tried to do is create a community developed space. So there is no funding. Um, we have something that we call a community chest where anybody, any groups that want to use the woods rather than thinking about they can't use it because of cost, they contribute what they can contribute. Um, and then we use that to do different projects in the woods. And one of them was to invite some artists to the woods um, to come and for them to look at some of the stuff that we found all around the space that seemed out of place, but had become part of the identity of the woods. So we invited some artists down and they spent maybe six months working on different installations around the woods. Um, and it was wonderful because we had young people and families coming on while this was happening. So not only were they getting used to trees, and then they'd wake up in the morning and say, I've just seen a deer, and there's a rabbit, and there's a pheasant, and no, what's that? That's a bird. No, it's a pheasant, and that's a pigeon. And, uh, these, these artworks started to appear from nowhere. And their imagination, began to flourish and all these children who had adopted really hard personas and identities in order for them to to survive in their own space realized to survive out here you've just got to just chill out and just enjoy the space and you could you could see the difference in the faces um, when people use the space and then we thought we'd get some volunteers involved because it's a big wood and there's a lot of work to do um, so we started to target ex-offenders and drug users and we brought a few of them up here and they stayed up here for a good number of days and weeks, cutting, burning, clearing, because if we don't get in touch with our ecology and we focus on what's happening in the world, then we're going to lose some of the most beautiful um, experiences, landscapes and young people to a system that has no understanding of how environments like this could be used to educate young people in a far, far more holistic way than just the national curriculum.